In this movie, the third of working with 3D content in Anime Studio Pro, we're going to take a look at something that might surprise you actually once you think about it, and that is that there is no provision for lighting in Anime Studio Pro. You may go, well, lighting, why should I care? We were just working with a Walrus 3D model that looked like there was a little bit of lighting to it. And let me show you something else here. There is no 3D lighting in Anime Studio Pro because it is predominantly a 2D animation package where you simply don't need lighting. Go ahead and import from the working files. We'll come down to Object Import 3D Model. And then in the working files themselves, under Special Effects, we have 3D objects. There's two objects in here. One is Rock Baked and one is Rock No Shadow. You need to have access to a 3D program to create your own 3D content and not just any 3D program if you want to include environmental lighting on your object. I'll go ahead and import Rock No Shadow and show you what I'm talking about and then we'll define some terms of what baked means versus no shadow which is an unbaked texture. There's many 3D programs that can export OBJ files. That's what we'll go ahead and select now. It'll take just a second to come in because it's actually importing two kinds of data. One is the actual geometry data that makes up the shape and the other is the texture data that goes on to it. Looking in our layers palette you can see that we have a new layer, a 3D layer that says rock no shadow dot OBJ and that's fine but you may look at the scene and go um, I don't see anything. Different 3D applications export different objects at different dimensions. Shockingly, there is no actual standard between 3D applications. Although they can kind of interpret between one another, they export on their own scale. And the figures that are in Anime Studio Pro as stock 3D figures have been optimized for Anime Studio Pro. Well, we just imported an object. Where is it? We'll actually need to grab our layer scale tool. That pops up a scale grid, and I'll just click and drag. And we'll actually have to drag down quite a ways. Quite a ways to get the object in the scene. This is not unusual when working with 3D content in Anime Studio Pro. So if you import something, don't panic. That's OK. I'll come back to our layer move tool. And as we've already learned, you can't move the object around the layer you have to actually move the layer itself. And as we move left to right, you'll notice that the perspective changes on the object because we're looking through the camera. So we can see one side when it's on this side of the render frame. We can see the other side when it's on the other side of the render frame. And if you don't like these black lines, then we can just go into our layer setting 3D objects and we can turn off the edge offset to zero. Now we just have our object right here. I'll leave that there for the moment and we're going to import the second object for comparison. Import object 3D model. This time we'll come to rock baked object. I'll select open. We see that's been added to our layers palette. And so now what we need to do is to scale that object. Come back to our layer scale tool, keyboard shortcut 2 for that. And just like we did on the first one, we're going to have to drag this down just a little bit. Keyboard shortcut 1 for the Layer Translation tool. And we see some differences between these two. Let me turn off the Edge Offset option so we can look at them as similarly as possible. One object looks like it has lighting. It's dark on the bottom, light on the top, and the other one is the same color all the way over. Baking is the function of the 3D program calculating all of the light that is striking the surface of the geometry and then making a texture adapt to that. So this one on the right, the rock baked, has come out of a 3D program that said, oh, there's more light on the top than the bottom, and it changed the texture to match the lighting. So the lighting effects were baked onto the texture map. For the rock on the left side, the texture map was there, and it was actually the same texture map for both objects, 
It's just that the one on the left did not have that texture function baked to it. So if you would like to work with a 3D scene where you actually have a building with shadows casting onto the street or an object sitting on your scene but you want that 3D type of shadowing, you have to use the program that authors the 3D objects and not Anime Studio Pro to do that. With our camera tools we can now go ahead and move about the scene and take a look at these because we can interact with the layers using our camera tools. I'll go ahead and use our zoom tool and we can drag into our scene a little bit and we can go ahead and use our tool here to move around the scene. Let me come back just so you know the keyboard shortcuts. 4 for the track, 5 for zoom, 6 for roll, and 7 for pan or tilt. So if I want to go ahead and drag back through my scene here to get a closer look, I can look at the objects that way. In a movie coming up, we'll be taking a look at how to animate 3D camera moves through your scene. But this is how you work with objects. If you want shadows in Anime Studio Pro, you'll have to have the actual 3D authoring program do that for you.